all my life, I've been a, a long distance runner. Um, in 2002, I was selected as one of the eight police officers from across the country, and we were the security for the Olympic torch. We uh, were in 46 states in 65 days. I ran a total of 960 miles in 65 days. Now I'm into, you know, I have my own little farm and raising animals and crops and uh, stuff like that. We're going to be doing the uh, vegetables for the farmer's markets. I grew up in a law enforcement family. My dad's a retired policeman, uh, my grandfather. I grew up in that culture where uh, men handle their own problems. Um, men don't cry. Um, and you just tough it out. And I decided that uh, it would be easier to self-medicate and uh, use alcohol because that's what I'd seen my dad do during tough times. And, uh, and uh, so it kind of started off from there and it just progressively got worse, the drinking. They actually um, had to use the paddles on me to bring me back. I was that far gone. So uh, I ended up in, in the hospital in intensive care for a couple days and, and I was so angry. When the doctor you know, came in to talk to me, I told him I knew how to answer his questions and play the game. And as soon as I was able to, I'd get out and kill myself. And he just kind of said, really? And the next thing I knew, I was being transported by an ambulance to a psychiatric facility. And uh, uh, that's where I ended up. I remember they said that there was an AA meeting. And at the AA meeting, they served coffee with caffeine. Because in a psychiatric ward, they won't give you any caffeine. So I'm like, oh, I'll go to the meeting if I can have coffee with caffeine. So I went there, and I remember hearing you know, somebody talk not a policeman or a fireman, but um, talk about their experience and strength and hope. And, and I thought, you know, maybe that's something I could try. And I remember going back to the room uh, in the uh, locked facility, and um, I was thinking about all the mistakes and all the things I'd done in my life. And, and I... And I I got down on my knees in that room and I said, you know what, Lord? I said, I am not doing a good job with this. I'm going to turn this all over to you. And if you really exist, you know, we'll move forward from here. And, you know, I felt, I don't know, I felt like there was hope. Here comes uh, Chief Whitman, Chief of Police, and John Lamb, the Deputy Chief. And they were both in jeans, and they were both in t-shirts. And the first thing they did was each one walked up to me and put their arms around me and gave me a hug and said, hey, it's going to be all right. You're part of our family. You know, we're, we're going to get you through this. If I'm really stressed about something, I talk to somebody about it. And it's not a sign of weakness. You know, it's a sign of someone that recognizes there's a problem and deals with it instead of just, oh, I'll deal with that later. You know what I mean?